According to newly released Pentagon documents, time travel and anti gravity technology are possible and could be used by humans to visit other worlds. In the recent article of The Sun, they claim to have obtained the real life X files as a part of their Freedom of Information request into the Pentagon's secretive UFO program, which is called the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program. In the article, they go to explore the possibilities of time travel and anti gravity technology. One document looks into how anti gravity technology can be used to build planes and spacecrafts, claiming that effects can be implemented by manipulating space time. They also said it may be possible to produce exotic phenomena such as faster than light travel and time machines. After looking at various ways of controlling gravity, the study also suggests that wormholes in spacetime could be used for interstellar travel. According to another file, future aerospace platforms might have propulsion systems that modify their surrounding spacetime geometry to implement faster than light space flight or produce gravitation via entire gravity. The documents obtained by the Defense Intelligence Agency, or DIA, also outline plans to send multiple spaceships, each manned by a single pilot, to colonize deep space. This also relates 100% with what OTC X1 platform does. Oristika and his other engineers claim that platform operated according to their conscious intentions. A spaceship with nuclear-powered electromagnets would shield the manned spacecraft from radiation as the hard spacecraft with powerful radars would do it. According to the fires, this will be manned by a single pilot and could be used for missions involving possible colonization. As per report, it is focused on traditional human pilots rather than cyborg-enhanced astrobots. When tasked with completing missions, one human can only control a maximum of four crafts, according to the research. Other fires examine how space rockets, powered by nuclear weapons, can build bridges between Earth-like planets in other solar systems. The nuclear-powered spaceships will be able to travel deep into our solar system and beyond why also remaining economically feasible. Uh, by special configurations and, and what have you, it causes a, a, a cancellation of mass inertia and an anti-gravity effect. The aerospace designer, Brad Sernsen, accidentally stumbled upon a top secret presentation at an air show where he saw three unexpected aircrafts, leaving him scared and depressed. Three silent flying saucers resembling the 1950s designs were revealed, with the smallest being 24 feet in diameter and the largest being uh, 120 feet wide, and they were referred to as the iron production vehicles or ARVs. A saucer-like aircraft demonstrated impressive maneuvers and then flew straight up, leaving the audience amazed. Brad Sorensen described the simple mechanics and showed Mark McKendrish the interior components, leading to a lunch meeting to discuss the Aryan reproduction vehicles. And Brad described the interior of the ARV, including a dome, jump seats, and the ability to travel faster than light. Mark McKendrish used his aerospace design skills to convert a roof sketch into a technical blueprint of a functioning flying saucer. And after speaking with other eyewitnesses and conducting his own research, he discovered that many people had seen and worked on ARV projects. Mark encountered Kent, at an air show, where Ken described seeing a flying saucer at Edwards Air Force Base before being forcibly interrogated for 18 hours. 
The military had been hiding a UFO at Norton Air Force Base where pirates and other personnel could visit and see the craft while also participating in activities like golf tournaments. Mark McKendrish discovered that there have been sightings and photographs of iron production vehicles with a consistent design uh, of a round shape, flat bottom, angled edges, and an upper compartment, suggesting that these vehicles have been around for at least 75 years, if not longer. Ancient Hindu texts describe Vimana's frame machines with detailed engine descriptions, including the use of mercury, which can sacred and create a vortex when heated or when an electric current is applied. A technology that interested Germany in the 1930s. Mark's research on the ARV project led him to conclude that the craft operates using a circular Tesla coil, with metallic lawyers acting as capacitors, liquid mercury for thrust, and a synthetic vision system for the pirate to see in three dimensions, while also being able to exceed the speed of light. Mark researched the ARV project, spoke to the UFO abductees, and found evidence of a round craft with a rotating quorum of silver liquid. Similar to a technology seen in UFO crashes, and based on Nikola Tesla's work, it also led him to conclude that the craft operates using a circular Tesla coil. Multiple metallic lawyers stacked with a gap in between acted as capacitors to store and redirect electricity, while the craft uses liquid mercury and a control system to generate thrust and move in any desired dilation. Physicists have released papers explaining how crafts using zero-point energy could theoretically reduce gravity and lower its mass, allowing it to travel faster than light without violating the laws of physics. The vehicle compresses space-time ahead and expands it behind, allowing for rapid travel and maneuverability without experiencing changes in gravity or g-forces. UFOs can travel slightly and without exhaust by generating energy from zero-point energy. The concept of zero-point energy, which is the ability to access and generate unlimited power from the ambient field of energy, is the basis of the iron production vehicle, a technology started from extraterrestrial vehicles and manufactured by the human military intelligence. The scientists who developed groundbreaking technologies related to free energy and zero-point energy, such as a cold fusion model and a star drive, mysteriously died or had their research supplaced, suggesting a potential cover-up by the powerful entities. Loki and Grumman may be involved in a secret anti-gravity program, but they refuse to discuss it due to potential threats to their competitive advantage. James Aaron, a filmmaker who was going to release a documentary exposing anti-gravity technology, died of cancer, and another filmmaker, Mac McKendrish, who also knew about this anti-gravity technology, was found dead in his apartment. Throughout history, there have been country settings of UFOs described as flying saucers or triangular-shaped crafts. People have reported witnessing maneuvers that seemed impossible for conventional aircrafts. Perhaps some of these unidentified flying objects were actually ARVs in action. These incredible machines are said to be reverse engineered crafts based on extraterrestrial technology. The concept suggests that our governments have acquired and started crashed UFOs, creating advanced vehicles of their own designs. One remarkable aspect is the propulsion systems used in the iron production vehicles. Some theories propose the utilization of anti-gravity propulsion allowing these vehicles to maneuver effortlessly through the skies 
define the laws of physics. Another intriguing feature of the iron reproduction vehicles is their ability to mimic the appearance of our natural sky, making them almost invisible to the naked eye. This advanced technology known as cloaking allows these vehicles to blend seamlessly into the background. For those interested in this topic of the iron production vehicles, I highly recommend exploring the work of these researchers, scientists and whistleblowers who have dedicated their lives to uncovering the mysteries of ARVs and the extraterrestrial technology. Because no matter what people say, this concept of ARVs and high gravity is an interesting one to analyze. For more information about this topic, make sure you check out this whole playlist, which also goes over this whole topic of anti-gravity. The link is in the description. See you on the other side.